Yeah, it's big, but I'm here uh, to get all that. Ain't worth it. Yeah. You guys don't get it. I'm letting you know right now, homie. The new generation right now, you guys getting it better than us, homie. Because you guys getting 25 to life right now, even for attempted murder. You guys ain't never coming out of jail. You know what I mean? You guys will never come out. You're going to be stuck there for the rest of your life. You're going to be rotten, jacking off in prison all your life. You know what I mean? That's it. And you don't get to eat what you want to eat. You shower when they tell you to shower. You sleep when they tell you to sleep. You know? You shit when they tell you to shit. So, prison, it's not cool. I did time for, my, for the crime that I did. I did six years. And you, so you do your time, and when your time's finished, you don't get to go home. You get sent to immigration detention. You know, it's an indefinite detention, man. You don't have a date. Uh, whenever they feel like they want to release you, I mean, that's, you know, on them. I stayed in INS for almost three. For my first time, they shot me to Las Vegas. It was shitty. They treat us bad. They, you know, it was real shitty and... Immigration is mostly stressed out. I already did my time and this immigration come talking about I violated an immigration law. I said, what? I just did my time, man. What the hell are you talking about? They said, oh, you broke uh, immigration law. Uh, yeah, I, I, I finished my time and then um, I was expecting to go home and they didn't take me home. They took me to INS. I didn't know what INS was all about. I thought I was an American citizen, but I guess I was wrong. We stayed in little cubes for years, man. Little set, like bunks, some in bunk beds, some in our cell, and you stay there and the yard is terrible. You stay there, it's like four walls, corners. We don't even get to see daylight. We see it once a week if we're lucky. Just to come play in the yard. It's just the living is terrible. Yeah, they treated it as worse than yeah. freaking jails and prisons and shit like. I got picked up from Corcoran State Prison. From Corcoran State Prison, I got shot to Bakerfield, from Bakerfield to Fresno. From Fresno, I got shot to San Diego, from San Diego to flew me to Eloy, Arizona. I think it's that stigma, right? The, 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 the discrimination for one, they think like, where they're illegally or whatever. People still play that racial, you know, thing in there. Yeah, it's like we lifers there. You don't know when you're going home, when you're going to get deported. It's a deadline. You don't know. You just stay there, sit there in that cube section right there, waiting when you're going to go home, and it's stressed out. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, it's terrible. Certain people, if they're not used to probably get, probably commit a suicide. So. <laughs> Stress out. I was numb to everything, dog. Bullshit this side, I was numb. I was just like, okay, what's next? Uh, lucky my mind is strong. If my mind was weak, I'd probably go crazy and take medication. Yeah, a lot of people that come, like, they take so much stress medication, they just stay in that zone. They've been so years and years using that medication. And then when you get out, you're just stuck on that zone. You're still on that medication. And it doesn't matter you didn't use it, you're still there. And you're still, like, lost like a zombie. I don't know what the hell you're doing.